inspecting analyzer setup for a sweep from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Greetings from Terry here in the lab with my HP Spectrum Analyzer. We're going to perform a sweep on this little fender amp that I just repaired. So I've got the analyzer set up, the amp is on. Let's see what the frequency response does on that HP 3562A. Here we go. So here's the amp under test. This is a 6V6 Class A amp. 12AX7 preamp, 5Y3 rectifier, typical Fender lineup. And over here, we have the HP analyzer all set up, ready to do a sweep, a monitoring on a scope, and we're running all signals through the D-Lab audio test set. So I'm going to do a couple sweeps and show you how the tone control works, and you'll actually be very amazed of the frequency response of these little amps. So I have the spectrum analyzer set up for a sweep from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And it's gonna plot that. And as a comparison, I have channel two teed into the analyzer itself so I can show you input versus output. We're gonna start with the tone control at 12 o'clock. The volume just up enough to drive the analyzer. Go over here, hit the start button. And the sweep begins. Here she comes. That's the end of it, okay? I'm going to do the same thing, but this time we'll watch a scope and the D-Lab test set. So, same deal. I'm going to simply hit start on the analyzer. And if you watch a scope, you'll start seeing some output. And at the same time, you'll see power developing on the audio test set. Boom, she's done. Sweep down here. You see you have the identical trace. Now, let's do the same thing. We're gonna back the tone all the way down. So maximum bass, right? Same deal, we'll hit start. Now we should hopefully see some high frequency cutoff if the tone control is working, right? So once again, building power doing our thing. Go back down here. You can see we're falling off. Done. All right, now let's take our tone go all the way up. Great, maximum trouble. Hit her again. Bam. Same deal. Go up here and watch. that output. Here we are. Let's make a trace. Now when it did that last trace, I could actually hear that high frequency through my audio test set. It was actually producing a nice high frequency tone. I'm sure my dog would like it. Alright, so there's the initial test of a Class A amplifier that's been repaired and appears to be operating perfectly. So D-Lab's going to continue to do this on all makes and models of amps that come into the shop. We'll do before, then I'll fix it, and then we'll do an after sweep and see if I really did fix it or make it worse, right? So anyway, like I say, this was an initial test. 
So far, I'm very happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again.